Hi guys, I'm making a video for no other reason, literally, than I'm outside. And uh, I just wanted to talk about the fact that when I was inside, um, I don't know, you don't realise it until you go outside in the garden, but um, there's a real peace in the air outside, like almost a freedom that you feel. Um, and inside I was a bit, you know, claustrophobic, I suppose. Um, I just needed to get outside and yeah I'm just sitting out here now just looking at all the plants I'm going to see if I can turn it around a bit so you can see some of the things that I had to look at so you know there's a lot of green um I mean there's a garden but I'm not going to go too far around and then I've also been doing some dance moves so I think I might try and show you on if I can get a bit of distance Okay, so I don't think I'm going to be able to show you in full, so I'll just show you the arms. Okay, so what am I practicing at the moment? So um, I can't really play music on here. I'm thinking of getting a TikTok account because at least I can play music. So these are the arms. Let me do those at least. Right, so I'm just marching on the spot. And then it's one, two, three, four, and down and up, and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and down and up. And one, two, three, four and down and up. I went a bit fast on the up actually. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So yeah, that's what I'm practicing. It's brand new arm moves. So um, there's legs as well, and that will be going into my next when I do my next Les Mills classes. Um, but it's just a bit difficult to show you here. And um, I'm going to set up next time and do some proper full body dancing. OK, I'm going to do it from the side now. So one, two, three, four, and down and up. And one, two, three, four. Or you could do five, six, seven, eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Oh, I just messed myself up. Okay, we're gonna do it one more. See, this is how it works. So this is how your dance class works. This is how learning routines work. You know, you find out, you're like, oh, I was just off there and you have to just keep going, keep repeating. And you know what, while I'm repeating and I'm doing this, I'm not thinking about anything else. I'm just trying to do the arms and the legs and it's really opening up my body. So let's go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four. <laughs> I've done it. I've added a move now. So that happens as well. So you're seeing all the kind of things that happen when someone's trying to learn choreography, like new choreography. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I think what we do is we go down quick. In fact, we won't go down, we'll keep our arms here. So then we're going to get into the change quicker. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, <laughs> I might have to start this all over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> All it takes is a little to be thrown off. So I've had a few people banging doors there and I wanted to touch it off and I couldn't. So that's why I normally have my earphones in when I'm outside. So then I can just, I don't, I don't hear it as much. Anyway, so this is our last go. So we should get here now. And this kind of shows you the process of repeat, 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 and then it clicks. Okay, so I'm just gonna distract my phone for a minute, let it have a rest. Da, 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 da. Okay, let's go. Four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, no. <laughs> Last chance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four five, six, seven, eight. Oh. 
you know what I was doing this why well, can now criticize I can an analyze what I was doing and I actually was going really fast up on the arm and that's why I was out of time so now I know I need to go let two counts go as I go up okay so one two three four five six seven eight one two three four five six seven eight See, so now I found my rhythm, but with anything and everything in life, you know, if you've stuck with me in this video, you know, you might have thought, oh, I don't want to keep watching her doing that, but sorry, I'm just trying to get my angle back now, but that's the process, that's how it works, so I have to keep trying, and then what will happen is, I'll go to bed tonight, and then I'll get up tomorrow, and I'll go to do that move, and it'll just work, and I'll be like, wow, it just works. Well, actually, if you've just seen this uh, video, it didn't just work. I've actually tried it and tried it and said, no, I've got it wrong. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So, you know, already I'm getting the rhythm now. Next thing I need to do is work out what to do with my arms because I know they only come to here, but this doesn't look very elegant on camera. So then I'm going to go away because you know this is part of one of the routines that I do for Les Mills. So I'll go away and I'll re-watch the video, you know, of the um, lead instructor. So we learn from a lead instructor and then we teach the classes. Um, and I'll just see how they finish that off. Because now I've got the rhythm. It kind of goes to here and then starts again quite quickly. So with that kind of move, it's a lot about timing. You know, it's not just about, oh, where does my arms go? It's also, you know, this bit's quite quick, then this bit slows down, then touch and quick again. You know, and I think what's amazing about it, and this is why I love um, teaching dance cardio, is that we're not just, you know, if we say, oh, we're learning dance moves or we're learning exercise moves, it doesn't sound so interesting, does it? You know, unless you love that kind of thing. But if you say, I'm, you know, looking at my coordination, I'm looking at, you know, my memory skills, learning sequences. And once you've learned the sequence, it becomes automatic. So then you can start to feel the music in a different way. Because instead of, you know, you're like, I mean, some people like to do the music via cues from the words. So, oh, that word, okay, we'll start. And I think that makes sense for certain types of dance, where, you know, you're not necessarily starting on the first beat, but because, you know, when I'm not doing Les Mills, I'm doing um, cardio body conditioning, I tend to do things on the beat. And I use a lot of music where they won't have lyrics, you know, or they'll have like maybe send like words or, uh, so I use a lot of house music and, you know, very upbeat kind of, you know, bouncy music. So, um, whereas if you're dancing to something like Rihanna, you can take the cues from her words. Um, but again, I don't tend to do that. I tend to look at music in the sense of counting it off in beats. Uh, and everyone has their approach. So, um, so yeah, anyway, I just wanted to say, I actually feel really good just getting outside. And so I really encourage you, if you can't remember the last time you went outside, please just go and find some grass and just sit down and have a look at some greenery. Um, we've actually got some lights coming on now, so I'm gonna do one more turn around and let you go. Um, but yeah, let me see if I can do it, not in, a, not in a really shaky way. See, I'm losing my quality as well of, you know, the light, it's not here. Let me just, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. Oh, I don't know if it shows very well, but all of those are twinkling here. I just, you know, I don't, I haven't brought any lights out or anything to like, so sorry about the quality. <laughs> it's more about the message, so. All right then, well, enjoy being outside, enjoy nature. And if you can't remember the last time you went outside, go for a walk now or plan one first thing in the morning and start your day, um, you know, in a slightly different way. All right then, bye.